guys, Izumi here and welcome to the video. Today I wanted to show you around the dormitory in Charmed Academics. We are right now in Blackthorn, it is sunset, and we're gonna go ahead into the dormitory for Hollowbrook High in Charmed Academics. Um, so you walk up, it has this very beautiful little pathway here, it has a bunch of different shops, it has a laundry mat for the students to be able to wash their laundry. It has just some nice little, it has some flavor to it, is the best way I could put it. It has this kind of like warm feel to it almost. Um, and then here is the beginning of the dormitories. I really like how this space looks. I think that um, it ended up looking very dark academia. And I think that, uh, let's go ahead inside so you guys can see more. So this first room is very much inspired by um, kind of that dark witch aesthetic. We have a little seating area down here for the students. It has a very pretty view of the forest behind as well as a courtyard in the, in the dormitory. Um, we have some books. Um, and then in here we have a bigger kind of sitting area. This is almost like a commons room for the dormitory uh, where students can kind of meet up. And I'm so upset that we didn't end up using this more in um, season one. I don't even think that, I think there's one scene in this, um, in this room and it, I, I really like how it turned out. So I could totally see me doing some behind the scenes videos from here um, or maybe even um, some kind of a short, uh, not as canon, but still canon uh, videos of, you know, Junie and her first year still um, in between season one and season two, because season two is in Valkyrie University, so it's different sets, and I'd love to be able to show off some sets more. Um, so let me, go, let me know if you guys would like to see that by leaving a like on this video and commenting down below. Um, over here we have the dormitory library. Um, this is where this is you know where all the students come to study and whatnot. Um, it's a pretty you know nice little area. Um, these are the mailboxes for the dormitory. So if students get sent mail, it goes there. Um, over here is another little courtyard. Um, just for some window access for some other dorms. That is uh, for a reason that you will learn <laughs> in the first episode. Um, over here we have kind of an under, under the dormitory area. Um, here is the courtyard that I was speaking of. Um, a very nice little area. Um, over there leads to kind of like the head master's quarters area so we will not be heading in there um you know we gotta give them their privacy and then back here is pigs we love um back here is where um the woods is as well as there is a beach over here um, my rider distance might be a little too high to see the oh no there we go okay we're good um, because there is an edge to the water since this was all handmade. So I wanted to make sure it looks correct. Um, these were all hand built by me. Everything in this, in this world was hand built by me and me alone. So, uh, you know, I had to make sure that the little, the little details that I don't want to show off that, you know, are there just because of practicality reasons, um, do not expose themselves. Um, let's go ahead back into the actual dormitory building. And I won't be showing you all throughout all the rooms in the dormitory. Some of them aren't done, some of them are done. There's a lot of different hallways. Um, I will be showing you though, um, this hallway because this is the hallway that Jimmy, Sage, and Hazel live off of. So let's head into their dorm. This is their living space very pretty they got some some wood for the fireplace they got beautiful plants and greenery and um yeah there here there's their little kitchen uh every dorm has their own living space and kitchen um since there are three you know students living in each dorm 
You want to make sure that they can take good care of themselves and that they have a good space for so many people. Uh, here is Hazel's room. Um, hello there. Um, it is very autumn inspired. She loves autumn and witchcraft and just all things. Oh, that's no good. There we go. <laughs> we were missing a window for a second there. Um, she loves everything autumn and spells and witchcraft in general. So this kind of suits her personality very well. All the dorms are custom made based on what the student would like. So it's kind of like they're magically sized and fit to whatever the student needs. Um, here is Sage's room. Very, very cute. Um, she has a little deal up here. I think I'm too tall to go up there, but we'll just go up here. Um, and this is another space that sadly is never really shown that much. I think it's shown in like one or two episodes. Um, especially up here is just so cute. I wish I wish I had a, a chance to show you guys it more. Um, and last but not least, Junie Storm. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's just relaxing, I guess. Um, but Junie's Storm is probably definitely one of my favorites that I built. Um, it just is so. It's so Junie Nightwood. It's it's just reeks of her energy um, in the best way possible. Um, here is her bathroom. All of the dorms have their own bathroom. All of like the separate rooms have their own uh, their own bathroom. Um, yes, yes. And uh, there's also a bathtub. Um, her toothbrush, of course, um, and the rest of the world. <laughs> that is unfinished. <laughs> um, but all of the own dorm rooms have their own bathrooms. Um, just, um, you know, they're not in states to be shown. Um, the other two girls are quite messy, if I do say so myself. Um, so that is their dorm. But if you want more of these like set tours, let me know. Um, I think this is the only set I can show you guys around for right now. But once the season is coming out, if you guys would like an in-depth tour of anywhere, let me know and I would love to show you. Um, also let me know if you guys want to see little shorts in between the seasons. Um, just so you guys can see more of what happens between the school years. Um, and I would love to do that as well. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big old like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!